Darius in the book of Daniel is not exactly the model of humility. We see this in the way that those in authority under him chose to trick him in regard to Daniel. The plan was simple. Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the realm. The other presidents and princes didn't like this idea, so they schemed for a way to sabotage Daniel's political career. Since there weren't any skeletons in Daniel's closet, the other presidents and princes had to trick the king. They couldn't just lie about Daniel. No one would believe them. So they appeal to the king's ego. They come to him and say, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors, and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Translated, we think you're a god and so do you, so we need to make sure everyone else knows it and worships you. The king contemplates their idea. Hmm... I am a god, so no one should ask anything from any other god. Sounds like a great idea. Everyone can only worship me. Let's do this. So the law is signed. Daniel disobeys. In the president's and prince's minds, this is game, set, match. Checkmate. The fat lady has sung, and in Daniel 6.12, they come to the king. And they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall make ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. And there in Daniel 6, verse 13, Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petitions three times a day. His pride had caused Darius to make a rash decision, an unwise decision. Here he is, and here we learn a valuable character trait from Darius. He was willing to admit that he was wrong. In verse 14, then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him in the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. We see that Daniel had such a testimony that even Darius believed God was going to do something miraculous. Yet, he still had to cast Daniel into the lion's den that night. And in verse 18, the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were there instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said, Daniel, O oh Daniel! Servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the mouth of the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Darius rejoices over the provision of God deals with the schemers, and then humbles himself to declare, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, steadfast forever, his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. Darius learned from his mistake. He changed in light of it. He glorified God as a result of it. That's something every one of us needs in our character. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message and a minute.